Oh, oh Jesus. I mean, you were a little early for that, but, uh, okay. Anyway, welcome but back! Okay. Uh, alright. The expedition begins. So are we going with the, uh, impaling the dragon on our big ol' spear plan, or...? <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. No, I thought we shot that down, cause, uh... Cause it'll just, uh... It'll just break the spear, cause it's just a normal spear. Cause it's just a normal spear. <laughs> yeah. It's like a I thought that sounded like a fun... Attempt. A fun... Attempt. That's the best I mean, we'll see what happens. <laughs> um, it's a quick journey, as I said, to the actual swamp. It's about a day's journey, uh, so you're getting there, um, like late afternoon, I would say. Um, just for you know, for for those of you that can sort of judge the time, it's particularly hot. But by your schedule of awakeness, <laughs> um, there you find kind of a partially hidden. Boat, um, like some stuff is taken off on it, and it looks to be like a, as I said, a, f uh, a flat bottom, probably cargo ship. Um, it's got some oars. It's got like a pole in the back to push it along. It does have a small sail, but the sail seems to be kind of tattered. Not so we're nice. on a gondola. Except it's flat bottom, so it's not like yes. it's not long. It's wide too. <laughs> it's like it's like almost I, uh... square. I'll hold out the bag for the skeletons to jump in. Or at least three of them. I mean, they don't need to breathe. So. <laughs> Can they do that? Just go into it? Why couldn't they? People could go into anything. It, people could theoretically go into a bag of holding only his limited air. You would just run out of air. Yeah. They don't need to breathe, so they could just. Breathe. They could just hang in there and be like, doo, 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 and then just pop out. Well, I mean, you have to bring them out because it's extra yes. dimensional space and you have to pull them yeah. out. They're stuck in there otherwise. My only question would be is if they would survive. Like, if you have to be on the same plane with them for them to stay animated. That would be it. Hold the car. Sorry, I had. <laughs> stuff I was dealing with. Oh, what's going on? Do the <laughs> skeletons need to stay on the same plane as you to continue exactly? Uh, I just... <laughs> please, please, please don't let me know. Wolfgar knows. Space, Wolf knows. Tim does it, right? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, just love why I just referenced my uh, player's handbook. <laughs> But once we get on the boat, I'll uh, I'll take the first shift with the gondola like thing to push yeah. off since I could I could probably get us the, a good speed before I take a break. Yeah. It you know. doesn't say it doesn't. It doesn't say yeah. like you have to be in the same plane or whatever. Exactly. Um I think it should be fine. You know. Alright. So yep, so They'll jump in, or at least three of them, and then I'll go and take my shift. Just, and I'm just gonna go at it. I'm just gonna be like, mm. <laughs> probably, <laughs> probably uh, two of the soldiers that uh, Wilhelm brought are gonna be on the oars to help kind of, you know, maintain uh, going straight as um, uh, Uriel's kind of directing you through the maze of waterways. Uh, the swamp is. Um, an interesting place as it's it is incredibly like stagnant kind of greenish brown water um, you occasionally see like movement of things under it um, it's a series of waterways with like half flooded islands uh, occasionally there's a little bit of drier uh, islands but in these kind of like areas of dirt that are kind of sticking out of the water you have these like twisted trees that come up creating a canopy over top of it so this area is actually quite dark and it's like these almost like tunnels that you're traveling through um, two questions sure uh have i been through any of this part before because i have been through parts of the swamp yes this seems to be a little farther east than you were last time Okay, um, and then can I be kind of sketching out some of the areas as we travel sure. through? Sure. Okay, so 
that's what I would be doing. Uh, occasionally, like, you have to avoid some of the obstacles in there, like a fallen tree that you either have to take another route around, or you have to kind of push out of the way, while worrying about kind of horrible snakes and insects. The place is filled with bugs, too, so there's lots of, lots of, like, mosquitoes all buzzing around all the time. It's Florida. Hey! <laughs> yeah, you, know, you guys it's resemble true. that it's true. remark. It's very true. <laughs> uh, I'm looking at things, seeing if I have any kind of mosquito repellent <laughs> spell. I, mean, I could just put on, like, it, what, what's a fire? Fire is like one damage around. I mean, I could just go rage and, like, lay myself on fire and they won't be like. <laughs> <laughs> no, <we're> not. <laughs> it's, like, it's fine. It's fine. I'm, just, I'm burning a little bit. I have incense. Okay. Ooh. I was also going to light a torch. The smoke. That incense yeah. smells better. The combination of the incense and the torch smell horrible. <laughs> we're like, oh, 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 oh my god. That is a terrible idea. <laughs> so. Oh, hey. Does anyone, including you, Baron, have any idea what, how we're going to fight this thing? Uh, well, um, I can use some of the abilities that I have to assist. Um, I have a few tricks up my sleeve, so to say. Magical variety. Um, and my good friends here, um, have the, their bows. And I believe, uh... Yuriel has the same. Perhaps I just hold up ground. my crossbow. Yes. Uh. <laughs> Is there perhaps a way we could fight it where we won't be able to allow it to fly, which would be highly preferred? I believe yes, if we could that's... find it in the Slayer, that would probably work. At least it would limit it if it does have some flight room. Hmm. Didn't we come to the conclusion that its Slayer would probably be partially, partially, if not totally, submerged? Well, an entrance. I think was what we said might be submerged. Also, parts of the lair may have mm -hmm. been submerged. And they're swimmers. Well, my question is, I understand that's bad, but how is that any worse than flying? I can at least swim to chase after it. I can't fly after it. I don't think any of us, except maybe the skeletons, are particularly amphibious. If it pulls you under. I can hold my breath for a while. At least I'll be in contact with it. If it's in the air, I can't really do anything. Except Maybe for throw these things and I'll pull out a javelin. <laughs> Don't forget, we also have the wand. Yes, I'll pull out the wand and then he holds it like really awkwardly and he's like, like it's a sword. And he's like, I, how do I use this? Swish way? and flick. What? Swoosh! And he does like a... Don't... <laughs> like a hack. <laughs> Don't try to activate it now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Why? Does it only last for a certain amount of time? There's only so many uses. Um, per day. Okay. Right? It's... Um, charge. If we manage to, well... Either find its lair when it's out, or find the entrance when it's sleeping, I can cast a spell that would hurt quite a bit when it crosses over the threshold. Also, if we can find it when it's out, we could lay an ambush. Yes. Yes, I think... I mean, when it comes to water, can... I was prepared for that, as he's gonna fumble around in one of his bags and pull out this scroll and be like... I have a scroll here that would give us the ability to breathe water. You could have led with that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, yes, I only yes, have one. Oh. 
How many people does it apply to? Ten. Could have led How that. long does it last? A day. Well, that's very useful. Unfortunately, my bow wouldn't be useful under, but... Well, that means if um, Sir, uh, Sir Zack here wanted to jump into the water and fight it, it might work. Yes. Yes, it's a great idea, I think. Uh, I mean, we have... So we have a plan in case it takes off in the air. I mean, um, our lovely uh, dwarf here could... We have a potion that can give her the ability to fly. She has... Uh, she's, you said an, uh, an attack that can stun it? Yes. So it, it would land again, and then we could try to keep it on the ground there, and if we find it in its cave and it is half in water, we use that. It seems like we got our bases covered. I mean, I'd prefer to fight it not in the water, as... I mean, if things like that, which is hanging off the side of our boat, are in the water, I don't know if we necessarily want to deal with it. I believe that's... I doubt those things will be around if there's a dragon around. I believe that's a leech the size of a small dog. Is it? I'll stab into the water at my <laughs> sword. Can I get it? <laughs> it's, it's, it's sure, you can like kind of poke at it. It'll like <laughs> pop off. It really is like a leech the size of a small dog. I'll just hold it out off the edge of the boat. No, no, it'll it'll yes. swim off. It, 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 you won't manage to, like, oh. you'll, like, stab at it, and it'll, like, kind of, like, squish off into the water. Yes, I'm yes, like, it is at least the size of a small dog. I it's don't want to know what it's been feeding off of. Probably dogs. Probably those large crocodilians, which are over there on that shore. That seems to yes, at least... be all over this place. Hmm. Yes. Well, the dragon has plenty of food. That's true. Dragons. Dragons, plural, by the way. Supposedly this area has numerous. That's right. <laughs> then. No, hopefully it doesn't have a mate. We won't know until we get there. We can plan for worst case scenarios. I think we have those covered. But until we get to where it's we don't know its layer. We don't know its layout. We don't know the area precisely. We're just going to, it's just fools for us to try to plan too much right now. We just gotta stroll right in there, just in time for dinner. And what do we plan? Well, never mind. I was gonna ask a stupid question. Yeah, well, that's normal. What are we planning? For dinner? <laughs> no, I was just saying, what do we plan when nightfall happens? I'm like, wait, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you mean when the shutters get closed? <laughs> The boat shutters. You know, like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's just a flat bottom boat where a lot of barrels would be, so it's just a boat. There's like we no... picture ten in the boat. So we're like, sorry, dragon, it's nighttime. We can't fight you. <laughs> See, the shutters are closed. <laughs> Don't you know? No, no, we just pinch a, t pinch, a, pinch a tent in the boat, and then that counts as our night. Well, <clears throat> let's just keep, keep our uh, plans open. But right now, we're just guessing. It's mostly guesswork. The, the water breathing is good if we come into an issue where we're going to have to fight it close to the water. The flying potion is good if it's out in the open. And uh, chance is pretty good either case. It's worse underwater. Um, <clears throat> um, I can uh, swim. I'll point to Sydney. Sydney, is, sh she'll be fine. Um... <clears throat> And then, uh, and then I'll look at Ulfgar and go, I mean, it probably would be better if they weren't underwater, because Ulfgar's skeletons are a big help with arrows. They offer a lot of support. They try. What? Oh, all this talk of planning reminds me. And he fishes out a platinum ring. Here you go, Grits. Oh, oh, that gets really awkward. Um... <laughs> Oh, here? Here, Ulfgar, are you sure? It's better than before the battle. It's for the protection? I thought you would have been giving the ring first. Uh, can he cast a protection spell using rings? Oh, it's for a spell. Yeah, um, we had this discussion. Right. Like, right outside the shop. I was thinking ring for another purpose. Yes. So why Why else other than decoration and protection? 
decoration is a good one. <clears throat> Nothing. I, by the way, I think I would give like Chance and Zach like this really awkward look as I'm like putting the ring on. <laughs> I just look at both at, at you directly and just give you a smile. Is there something with you humans? Technically yes. humans. It's a human thing. Yes. I'm a okay. technical human. Humans. <laughs> humans. I'm all human all the time. Mads, you good? <laughs> Mad, Mads died, did it? She did. <laughs> There's movement. She's okay. Yeah, she's all right for now. <laughs> she mostly died. The <laughs> raspberry <laughs> got her. Zigby <laughs> can't speak right now, so... Yeah. Sigby can't come I mean, to the phone right now. Please leave a message. To be fair, normal travel day, she probably doesn't talk to us all that much to begin with. Yeah. Like, no. me and Chance probably have awkward small talk be like, that's a good size tree. Yeah, it is. It's not that bad. Like, there's not that many. Like, just weird, like, small talk. Sydney I probably wonder, doesn't say anything to us. I wonder if Rufus <laughs> would try to ride one of the crocodiles. Yes, yes he would. I can answer that <laughs> question for you. I traveled with him extensively. Yes, he would. Um, Signy, and I hand you one of the skeleton's chalkboards, and I write out in Celestial, what is this human thing with rings? <laughs> Marriage! <laughs> Sweet Marriage! <laughs> <laughs> Mallage is what wings us. Uh, okay. yeah. uh, I draw Ulfgar aside and just explain the human custom of engagement rings and also promise ring. Yeah. And celibacy. In celestial. So if any of you are actually trying to listen, you would hear it's entirely in celestial. But I'm back to draw maps. Yeah. I'm not. Dwarves exchange use... beard hair. <laughs> I turn back to you guys. Braided beard hair. You're all yeah. horrible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why exactly? It's none of our business, Chance. <laughs> I just smile at him. Why are you smiling at me like an idiot? <laughs> <laughs> Does he know any other way? Oh. oh. <laughs> Laying that. Dwarf knowledge, uh, yeah. Dwarf shade. No. Excuse me. Dude. I was going to warn you. You need me to cast cure wounds on They're too you. short. <laughs> I am a tall dwarf. Thank you very much. I'm. I am not. six foot three. I'm far taller than you. Well, when I have Why that, we have so <laughs> many giants. We have so many giants in this group. Like... Fuck you. <laughs> I'm only five seven. <laughs> I'm 6'5". Like, Sydney's the only one that's close to my height. Like, hey. I'm, I'm an average <laughs> human. I'm 4'6". I'm 4'9". Ooh. Fear me. So I ha I'm actually me right out. in the I'm right in the middle. <laughs> I have two people good. taller, two people smaller. <laughs> I am the You're average the in the human. Middle. You're yeah, the I'm the middle. average human. <laughs> yeah. So your right. journey does continue through the swamp. Um, <laughs> oh, right, there's a DM. I, yeah. <laughs> I, I was waiting till you were mostly done. <laughs> um, the swamp is actually, you notice something unusual about it. it. It seems to be getting darker the deeper you get into it. Now, this is something that Ritz encountered a little bit of, that this place gets worse, in a way. Um... You actually do pass through a couple of open areas, similar to the ones that you encounter before Grits. Though this time, uh, an island area, like you saw before, didn't seem to exist. But these are like almost like lakes in the middle of these areas, except there's dozens of these uh, river passages heading off of there. All the water continues to be stagnant and not moving. The little bits of current that seem to be around seem almost unusual. And maybe like you get occasional like sh small currents in one tributary leading to another and then it seems to, the two of them come together at the same spot, but you don't see where the currents go from there. It all seems to swirl around in this unusual mess of bugs and muck.
It... It's pretty uneventful for the first day. Save for seeing some of these horrible things that are around here. Um, are you pitching tents on the boat for night? What are you planning on doing for night? Are you going to continue to try to push through and travel throughout the night? Or are you going to try to, like, anchor yourself to, like, some trees or something? I'll make this joke for Josh real quick. Um, <laughs> I'm always pitching a tent. I knew somebody was going to make yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was waiting for it, too. Um, <clears throat> I think we should pinch a tent and we'll take a Pinch ships. a tent? Pitch, 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 uh, pitch. <laughs> pinch a tent. Uh, and, uh, and on the boat and take shifts. And not like, because otherwise we're just sitting around wanting to be attacked. Like, I'm fine with that. What do you guys think? I don't really care about sleeping under a tent or not, anyways, but less bugs would be nice. It would probably be less bugs. <laughs> probably. A, a little bit of noise reduction too. You know, the cicadas you know, chirping. I like that. I just don't like the bugs on me. So you can kind yeah, of set up they're... like two tents on there and you could take shifts where four people can rest at a time. Two yeah. in each tent. And then the rest will kind of be on duty at that point in time, and kind of keeping a watch out and keeping the boat going. Yep. Now, what did Sydney dream? <laughs> no, normal dreams for her. So <gasps> awful. Awful. So yeah, awful dreams. Yeah. Absolutely but, horrible. <laughs> but comfortable awful. Like you know, like, back, back to awful. normal awful. <laughs> Can she talk in the morning is a big question. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, one of the... One thing does stand out for your dreams, though, is one of them, you do dream of... Basically, like, losing yourself in anger and just shoving, shoving uh, Red's face. Somehow you're stronger than him. Down into the swamp waters that just drowning him. Just upset at him for making you dance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's even more horrifying. She just want to hurt him. Tantus, I am personally <laughs> offended right now. <laughs> Red would somehow survive, pat her on the back, and give a nod like, it's okay. We all know that. Mm -hmm. Red. 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 <laughs> but Green Red. would not forgive. <laughs> but other than that, the night passes quite well. Well, for those of you, I'm guessing your group is kind of more aiming towards resting at the night. Okay. I have one important question. Sure. Grits, now that there are more than one available sleeping area, do you still try to cut a wolf guard? No, she'll pass out wherever, like, whenever it's her turn to go sleep, she'll just find a bedroll and be like, sunk. I'm <laughs> actually going to take one of the night shifts because I have the goggles and I can see in the dark. You know, well, there is no dark. It doesn't there is no oh, yeah. night. I keep saying that yeah, <laughs> my brain's dead. Obviously, I will take a shift because I have I mean, other uh, goggles. It is darker in this area. <laughs> like, the canopy has gotten yes. quite thick. But, but yeah, I'm being But it's not weird. like completely night or completely dark <laughs> ever. Yes. That canopy is thick. <laughs> so <laughs> thick. So thick. Total blackout condition thick. <laughs> they closed the shutters on the canopy, guys. <laughs> That's you type That's that right. so fast every time. <laughs> no, she it's a it's it's a permanently paced. It's a so macro. She paste it at all she's a macro on she, her side. Yeah, a macro just boop thick. Boop. <laughs> Um, yeah, so like when Zach goes, he's not doing the the watching. He's doing the the you know moving it. Yeah, that's, that's my that's where my strengths lie. He's doing the moving it. So I'll, I'll actually me and Ofgar will probably be a good team together because he can see really well and I, I can push really well. So <laughs> <laughs> there are there are a few dangers you do have to deal with uh, along the way to fend off of from. Boat. Nothing completely critical. Um, 
at one point in time, a bunch of crocodilians seem to be taking interest in your boat, and um, a couple of attacks, magic missile. Yeah, a couple magic of attacks missile. from spells <laughs> or like stabs discourages them. Another time, a massive crab, uh, the size of a like uh, like a person, got on board the boat, uh, and you kind of had to fend it off. It's a hell of a time for that. Yes. And um, you pass through an area where giant, like, halfling-sized spiders rain down on your ship. Uh, from, like, the trees were just covered in webs. Can I just throw them? Can I just throw them off the boat, the spiders <laughs> are trying to? Probably could have thrown some of them off and just, like, stabbed others. It's like... A, like like a dozen of them are kind of like trying to like attack the ship. <laughs> Rufus would try to ride that too. <laughs> <laughs> it's his same size as him. It's too small. It needs to be medium size. Thank you. So That's they're dwarf, you say, but... dwarf giant spiders, guys. <laughs> <laughs> dwarf sized or bigger. Got it. <laughs> they were young giant spiders. Thank you very much. Oh. Well, or were they yeah. young fine cannibals? No. If actual giant spiders jump on us, I will use a spell. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just be practicing with the magic missile rod. Just, <laughs> just, <laughs> just. Now, how does it? Does it? It runs out throughout the day, or how does it, that work? it ga regains a certain number of charges in the evening, basically overnight. I thought it was at dawn. Might be at dawn. dawn. Dawn hour. Well, it's always light, so... <laughs> so it's always recharging. Got it. Cool. <laughs> uh, whenever, effectively, it would be dawn, equivalent in time, it regains uh, 1d6 plus 1. 1d6 plus 1. And, uh... Don't use too many of them. Yeah. No, I'm going to use them, and then before the battle, we can roll to see how many I have. <laughs> All right? That's... Well, if you run out, there's a possibility that it gets destroyed. Yeah. Uh, I will have Ulfgar go. That's enough. Uh, okay. Just like that. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> That's his job. It's just to stop me before I get to the last one. <laughs> I've, that's arcane. Nothing. Alright. <laughs> that's up to Sigmi. Okay. Anyway. Cool. Will she tell me? Like, that's, always a get, that's always a question with Sydney. <laughs> Can she tell you? She yes, <laughs> but also, yeah, she would. Okay. So he'll use six every day, <laughs> so that he doesn't. You don't always regain six though. Six though. So one d six no, plus he, one. One d six. Always have one left. Okay, let's not overthink this. <laughs> you can regain. You regain this at least two a day. <laughs> yes. I would say use two a day at most. Okay, so six a day. Because we want to have them for the battle. That's not a magic user, a magic item. <laughs> Guys. That's yes, but we're heavy. warning you and saying we need them for the battle. Don't waste Yeah, them. I have six to play with every day. No. <laughs> you don't. If you get to the point where you're using six every day, Sigby will take it from you. Just be like, just hold it. I'll hold it up. <laughs> <laughs> I will just shoot it out of your step. hand. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like, right, like, listen. I'll, I'll, I'll use two a day. Okay. You don't really have to practice that much. All you do is point. It's actually really fun. <laughs> like, I didn't know you could just go and throw things from your hand. That's cool. <laughs> magic missiles like shoot out and like blast at some plants. <laughs> It's like a tiny, tiny centipede, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's, well, by tiny, it's like, you know, like one of those South American giant centipedes kind of like just crawling around one of the things and you just like blast it and like chunks fly everywhere. It's like... Ugh. So would that make it a... Uh, we should be need? careful. We are entering into the territory that that thing patrols. Okay. We're gonna, have, we're gonna have to pass through some of the large bodies of water to get closer to where we're fairly certain 
its layers. Uh, this is Uriel, uh, Nando. Okay. Red. Um. <clears throat> all right, Ofgar. Uh, chance. Keep your eyes open. You guys can. You guys are the best at seeing things. Uh, I am. I'll guide the boat. One of the things about this area is you notice that there's a lot more vines and moss kind of growing all over things, almost creating like a lattice that's making it, at least down in this area, nearly dark. So this is the first time that you've had like, beyond like some of the forests you've been in before, which can darken things pretty well, uh, which Brits probably has more experience with that. Uh, the rest of you, this is probably the darkest it's been, again, outdoors that you've ever experienced. I was going to say, we went to the caverns, remember? Yeah. Like, when you <laughs> went underground, that's one thing. <laughs> this is like, it's outdoors, but dark. Now, granted, not really like, nice. not night, but definitely fairly dark. Like dust. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. It's been a while since... Didn't feel like it was noon. As you kind of enter into this area, you also get the feeling that there's a lot more creatures about. Not a lot of the dangerous things you've kind of encountered before, but a lot more smaller things all over the place. Like in the trees, in the water. Things that might not be on the menu for a larger creature like the dragon you're hunting. But might be on the menu for some of the smaller things like the crocodilians and the leeches, the crabs, those kind of things. The first large area you enter into has a massive tree in the center. One that kind of towers up probably three times taller than any other tree here. And it's got this elaborate canopy and, like, vine system that almost creates a net. So this is actually when you enter into this area, this lake. It's lighter than you, the area you were just in, like, the tunnels that you were traveling through before. But again, dark, like it was in the most of the swamp. As if this strange kind of canopy coming from it that's emerging from the swamp itself is creating a kind of um, interesting look. You also notice that there seems to be, like, hollows in this tree. Hmm. <clears throat> I'll look over to the scout and we'll say, where should we look first? Uh, we checked this place out once we were there. It's up to you if you want to stop by. It seems to be signs that someone had lived here at one time. We didn't find anything. But the but signs... This is clearly... This isn't where the dragon's nesting? No. We're close, though. In about... Alright. In two, three hours, we should reach the area where it's at. Okay. Let's stick to the mission. I'm gonna sit down quickly, and I'm gonna send Fafnir over to this tr weird tree. Mm -hmm. While looking through his eyes, see if he sees anything. Can I push her off the boat? <laughs> I mean, you could. Uh, <laughs> each of the hollows leads into a small area. Um, he is Dark Vision, right? Uh, yes. Okay. They seem to be homes. Like, inside of these, like, hollows are what akins to old furniture, goods lying around. There are no signs of anyone living there at this point, though. Just gonna have him make a quick perception check, see if he sees anything in particular. Sure. Um, while searching around, he sees a mark on one of the around one of the hollows that's kind of hard to notice because it looks like the tree has healed. But he kind of like kind of notices it's funny around the door. You know, these doors seem to have been carved out quite nicely, except for this one that seems to be like warped. And when he kind of backs up. He can see as though, like, the entire tree in that area was warped by something. And investigating that room, the entire room feels like it was warped by something. And 
material inside is degraded much more, damaged much more. Uh, seemingly parts of it are maybe melted? That seems to be all he finds. <laughs> all right. <laughs> He'll just come back, curl up on my shoulder, right. open my eyes. Right. Not going to say anything. You can Did you see anything? <laughs> we, we all see you use this ability. You can't hide that. <laughs> I, don't, well, I don't think Grace not has. All. Not all. <laughs> but everyone yeah. else. Well... Well, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing that I should probably do, have done then. Okay, everyone saw it. <laughs> yeah, even I can see it. <laughs> what happened to her eyes? Why are her eyes like that? <laughs> <coughs> Where'd they go? And, I mean, we, we probably saw Fafnir fly off. <laughs> like, that's weird. <laughs> well, excuse you. Faffy's stealthier than me. Okay. Not my boss! <laughs> Fafnir! Go to the tree! <laughs> Fafnir! I'll just relay all that Fafnir saw. <laughs> Barely! You beat it! <laughs> you do beat it! Yes, you do. Yeah. Um, well, okay. Is that something that we should check out? You want to check out on the way back, Sydney? Be worth it. Is that okay with you, Lord Barnaby? Um, yes, that should be fine. It's along our way that we are traveling. So, excellent. On our way back, we'll remember that. Hopefully, as long as there oh, are too many injuries. <laughs> Indeed. We'll have to see how things go. Speaking of injured, before we get too close, I will hand out how many people are with us that Lord Barnaby is bringing. Uh, he brought technically five, not including himself. So including himself would be six. Are you guys okay with me giving them each a potion? We have twenty-one. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, we, hand... we have twenty-one. Yeah. <laughs> give them I mean, and that's not counting the four I'm carrying. Like I'm caring for. I'm it. carrying a few, a couple myself. <laughs> I have a big staff. <laughs> I have two. I'm gonna hand out I'm a, uh, <laughs> a potion of healing to each of them. And okay. I'll say this is just in case. Hopefully oh, you don't need you. it. I don't think I need an extra one, but I'll take it anyway, just in case. If you don't need it, I'll take it back. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, it's fine. You never know. Especially with dragon breath. It's all burny or melty or freezy or stuff. Melty. Black is melty. I want your word, Lord Barnaby, that if something happens to my comrades, you'll use these potions on them as well. Of course. You're valuable to the city. I wouldn't let you die for no reason. He'll, he'll let go of the death grip on the, <laughs> the potion. <laughs> Okay. <sighs> a few Let's more a few more hours pass and you once again kind of travel through the blackened tunnels. But this time you emerge into a oh. didn't mean to click that. Okay. <laughs> I was trying uh, to look at it. I do have the goggle. Yes. And uh Bartleby will cast water breathing on all of you. Um you come to what appears to be a massive mound covered in trees. It's this kind of mound that kind of emerges from the swamp and, and almost gets as tall as the trees around you, with more trees kind of like canopying off the back of it, almost making a secondary uh, top to it. So it's like almost like it looks like a hill on top of a hill, if you can really like look at it. That seems to mesh into the trees around it. Now, there is it's much wider waterway here than it is on the kind of sh like uh, the skinny uh, waterways that you've been traveling on here. So it can it looks as if this is in the middle of a lake, but it is very large in comparison to this lake, taking up well over half of it. You can see all kinds of rocks and materials around. 
and a kind of small shore with its kind of dark, almost looks like cavernous entrance on it. I'll uh, pull out the potion of heroism and I'll look to the skeleton and say, is that it? Is that the nest? As far as I know, you can see how the water the goes through it. You can see how the, drink. the small shore around there, we could stop there and walk in. But the water, it goes into the entrance there. We could push the boat in also. Do you want to wait to drink that? Oh. It's an hour long. I don't think it's Yeah, but we don't know if it. the dragon's in there or out at the moment. It could be three hours till the dragon returns if it's out. That's a good point. Who wants to take the second potion of heroism? Because I don't think Grits can because she yep. has the potion of flying. She made That's what I was going to say. I'm going to need that yeah. from you. So, Chance, this would give you bless. This would give you extra to your attacks. Or not That's to attack, always what... <clears throat> to help with attacks. Yeah, that's always welcome. Yeah, it's the same thing with you, uh, Sydney. If you want to have it instead. Okay, so I'll give you the other potion of heroism. I'll hold off drinking it until we get closer. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll hold it off out. on it too. Yeah, I'll have it ready. And you're gonna give me the potion of flying? It's in the bag of holding too. Just deduct it. Okay. Now, remember, Grits, you have to stay within 60 feet. 50. I can move 25. <laughs> we'll split the difference. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, uh. Well, no, no, no. You could move 50 in a rat. <laughs> if you just want to chase her. Um, if we enter as a... I'll, I'll tell him, yes, let's take the boat in. Um, and as we get taken the boat in... I'll pull out the large spear, and is there a way I can lay it, or like attach it to like the walls so that like, not that it would stop anything, but it would just impede something for a second that's large to cut them out. <clears throat> Possibly. I mean, if it notices it, probably could avoid it. Okay, it's just a backup, like in case it starts running. But, um, so yeah, uh, since I have water breathing on, I'll take the large spear out and I'll jump into the water and I'll try to set it into, like, the earth under the water. I'll try to assist um, you since it's, even though it's, it's, it's so awkward deep. probably to move. It is much deeper than, like, what the large spear would stick out of the water. Hmm. Oh, I thought you were trying to get it, like, into like the side of the cave. Yeah, like, I was thinking into like where the plants are, right? So it's like a like it's the mound, right? It's a mound, yeah, with like trees and stuff. And then there's out. yeah. I mean, so this... I want to like shove it into where it would be like on the side, sticking out. Of, sure, like, you could probably do that. Hole, yeah, like that. Yeah. And uh, I, you know, I don't need your help. I get advantage on any strength checks. I know, <laughs> but it's so awkward to wield. I could also help you aim the right spot. Is what I'm Did you saying. hear that, by the way? I don't need your help. Yeah. <laughs> well, He's I don't dismissing. want him getting water in case. Dismissed. It's, it's you fine. Just... I, I actually <laughs> can swim rather well. Um, I am have the literally here everything. to make innocent things sassy. By the way, should we go ahead and get skeletons back out of the bag maybe now? Yeah. I'm a little busy. <laughs> We've had to do that every day so I could resummon them, but yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll do that. Do you need some kind of check? What do you want? Uh, you'll be able to get that out. I mean, it's... Okay. Skeleton. No, not the skeletons. Me and the <laughs> oh, the check on the thing? No, you can yeah. get it in the side. Like a swim check yeah. or anything. Okay. Just in case it, like, comes out, it might get a scrape on it or slow it down or yeah. something. If, if it's going out at a high enough speed, it probably won't notice it. It would, you yeah. know, it would have to be going fast enough not to notice it. It's, it's like... It might help. It might help. Yeah. So you wanna, do you wanna, just... so I'm assuming that you want to park the boat and walk in then rather than take the boat in. That's up to you guys. Do you guys want to take the boat in or walk in? I think we should walk in because if we I need to we run, we don't need to go try to get out with the boat. Well, that and if it's in there and it if it destroys the boat, we're gonna have a hard time getting back. Yeah, I think we should park and walk in. The only problem I could see though is. If it's flying back, it could spot the boat and know that something's up. Maybe we could camouflage it? You're pretty good. Yeah. 
I can Maybe tempt that. Sticks? Well, there's plenty of brush on the this island on the map. Yeah, I'll help. I'll help him if we can try to hide the boat by like chopping down a bunch of fucking uh, freaking sorry bushes and <laughs> toss and like and toss it to him so he can arrange it to make it look natural. Yeah. Um. Okay. It's not gonna be perfect because it still is like floating on Something the water. Something floating on the water. But yeah. it might look like material that like clumped together and floated here or something yeah that so, it, 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 trying to it, just trying to make it obvious that we don't have a boat parked outside yeah. of town uh for this one i'd say roll me in intelligence nature just like Wouldn't you know make it look snow. natural he's rather than trying to like you can't really hide it because it's a large boat so oh, stealth okay. doesn't make sense but i'm saying it's like we'll you're disguising it, it. Like nature. Uh, I, okay. It looks pretty naturey. I'm going to judge him. Okay. Looks <laughs> it looks, it looks yeah. naturey. <laughs> looks nature to you. Looks like it looks like it could be like a floating pile of plants that just happen to be here. Nice. All right. As you disembark and hide your ship. Why don't we end it here as you prepare to? Nope, nope, nope. Too bad. Nope, let's go in. Nope, let's go in. Nope, we're going go in here. Three more hours, let's go. Midnight, <laughs> ending here. <laughs> anyway, hey! I pull out the jewel, jeweled wand and I the just. The jewel wand, around. apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Oi! <laughs> the jewel wand. Wow. Uh, thanks everyone who joined us today. Thanks to those of you who joined us in chat. Thanks to, of course, uh, the normal crew here uh, for joining me. Why don't we give some shout outs? We'll go reverse order of where we started with today. So, Rachel, find you, et cetera, et cetera, information. Uh, you can find me here on Thursdays, sometimes here on Sundays. My channel is uh, Jade Bella on Twitch. Um, you can also find me. Uh, Next week will be the final week, but we are. I will be over helping co-host the Women in Tabletop uh, month roundtable discussion. So that is uh, Women in Tabletop on Twitch. <laughs> I was thinking about it because cool. it's different things on different stuff. Um, yep, that's about it. Cool. That's me. Tiv. Hi, uh, I'm oh. Tiv, and I exist. And there's his beard. <laughs> nice close up. Give us a lip lick. Come on, come on. <laughs> so no, not not one that we can hear because. Oh just no a... no, just the noise. <laughs> I'm still Ulfgar. He does not do the lip lick. No one is talking. Yet. <laughs> oh no. Hi. <laughs> yes. I'm funny one. Um, yes. <laughs> Hi, I'm on Funny One. I don't do anything except for help other people <laughs> with their streams or communities. So, um, uh, at, besides Thursdays, come in to see me here. See me, no one else. Um, you can also catch me on Fridays. Uh, uh, Rick Beat, well, I guess if you're a friend of, uh, uh, if you're a Patreon of Ollie, you can catch me on his it's Friday, his game <clears throat> of D&D. Where I play a, a merman a druid, which is interesting because I'm hideous and also badass. Uh, and on this Saturday, I will be in a DD game. Oh, actually, I will, it will not be a DD game. It'll be a Pathfinder game that will be loaded onto uh, Delric's Patreon. So you can catch me there. And on Sundays, oh. I am uh, a sexy guy. And yes, just... you. No one gets to see the Sunday game, though. That is for no. my enjoyment. It's literally now just a game of how many people can he have sex with. Uh, yep. Are you a bard? On a side note, because I love Josh so much. If you guys don't talk to Josh, haven't yet or anything, talk to him. He's genuinely a fucking awesome dude. Yeah, I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ignore that part. <laughs> Matt. Thank you, Matt. Hi, I'm here. <laughs> are you? Hi, here. No. That's true. You are here. At least physically, probably spiritually too. But you know, what about uh, mentally? Mentally, no. Well, I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have blamed you. 
Uh, Joe. <laughs> I'm Joe. You'll see me here three times a week. You'll see me on this. You'll see me on Discussing Tabletop, where I co-host with Tantus. And I'm almost always on Sundays at Tabletop playing something with every with whoever wants to join. Yep. Uh, <laughs> yep. And as usual, we sucked. We sucked at the last game. <laughs> Where yes. Was one, right? yes. Yeah. <laughs> Arr. Yep. And I myself, I'm Tantanera Magicoven. You can find me here on this channel fairly often, uh, most days of the week. If you want to see RPG stuff, uh, Legacies of the Game, hopefully we'll be back next week. Uh, we got uh, this show here Thursday, so we'll be back next week at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for an actual dragon fight, because they're going into its lair, and there's no avoiding that one there. Uh, discussing Tabletop this Saturday, which we have two guests, which we've been having on, so it's going to be two guest week. And of course, Sunday's Tabletop, which Joe mentioned. So. And sure, there's a way to avoid it. We leave these guys here. And we take the boat and run. I mean, you would avoid it. <laughs> For now. I mean, I mean, we could literally just, like, push Lord Barnaby into the lair and, like, jump on the boat and leave. Please do not try <laughs> and kill my family's patron. <laughs> kind of okay, nice. as a warlock saying that, that really brings up a lot of questions. <laughs> 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 I think you just made her do a spit take. <laughs> nope, I kept it in my mouth. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> Wink. Anyway, <laughs> see you all next week, folks. Bye. Bye. Bye.